How is an asylum seeker defined in the EU? Asylum seekers are people who leave their own country for reasons such as persecution or torture on account of their race, religion or nationality. The EU Charter of Fundamental Rights obliges member states to protect people in need. It is also an international obligation first recognized in the 1951 Geneva Convention. What is the process for seeking asylum? There is a uniform EU system of minimal standards ensuring freedom, security and justice. For example, the initial procedure should not exceed six months. Which country has decision-making authority? To avoid sending asylum seekers from country to country, just one member state is responsible for examining an asylum application. The country is designated according to the presence of relatives, the point of entry to the EU, the place an asylum application is first made, or where a visa was granted. Who verifies the asylum seeker's identity? This is the responsibility of national authorities in charge of security and the asylum process, with the support of European agencies where necessary. What are their rights? In Europe, asylum seekers benefit from basic living conditions such as clothing, housing and food, medical and psychological care, education for children, full respect of fundamental rights. They are obliged to have their fingerprints taken, which are stored on a database called Eurodac. How is the application processed? The key part is a one-to-one -one interview between the asylum seeker and his or her case manager. The presence of an interpreter and legal assistance can be requested without charge. If the request is rejected, there is the possibility of an appeal. But if the decision is upheld, the applicant may be required to return to their country of origin or transit. If their request is accepted, refugee status is granted. They receive a residence permit plus access to the labour market and healthcare services.